some smart facts about wisdom teeth. Number one, they haven't served any purpose for hundreds of thousands of years. Imagine, for a moment, that you're a prehistoric man or woman. You subsist largely on raw meat, roots and leaves. You need some pretty powerful chumbers to cut up your food, right? That was where your dead molars, also known as wisdom teeth, came in. Today, our palates are a little more refined and we prefer softer foods. Think avocado toast and smoothies. Plus, modern cooking tools have put our wisdom teeth out of business. They're not just pointless though, they're also problematic. Wisdom teeth are a scar of human evolution, according to Princeton University researcher Alan Mann, about 800,000 to 200,000 years ago. Early humans' brains started growing at a rapid pace, so much that they ballooned to that they ballooned to three times their original size. When that happened, it changed the shape of the brain of the brain case, the back part of the skull, and its position and its position relative to the dental arcade, rows of teeth. The dental arcade shortened, and suddenly there was no longer enough room for, for third molars. And since the genes that determine the makeup of our teeth evolve separately from those that control brain development, humans will start dealing with the consequences of a crowded mouth, according to life science. Number two, nature may eventually sort it out there. On the bright side, scientists say evolution may eventually take care of the problem, meaning that people in the future will not develop wisdom teeth. It's anyone's guess as to when this will occur though. On the evolutionary scale, if I had to predict down the road, centuries probably, wisdom teeth are going to be one of the things that humans probably wouldn't have anymore, says Dr. William Cormick, assistant clinical professor at West Virginia Un University School of Dentistry. Number three, roots. The roots are the part of the tooth that form first and then push the, bud the part that's visible in your mouth through your gums. While wisdom teeth typically have two or three roots, they can have more. McCormick says his peasant removed his wife's wisdom teeth in the 70s and was surprised to see that one of them had five roots. It looked like a spider. It was not a pleasant extraction, he says. For that reason, if wisdom teeth need to be removed, it's easier to do so before the roots start to take hold. When the roots are totally formed, they're anchored like a tree that's been in, in your backyard for a hundred years, says Dr. Ron Good an orthodontist in southwestern Pennsylvania who runs a family practice with his brother, Dr. Bob Good. On the other hand, surgeons want some roots to grab hold of because removing a tiny tooth, but it's like extracting a mouth, Dr. Ron says. Number four, your wisdom teeth can erupt at any time. According to the, according to the Guinness World Records, the oldest person to ever grow a wisdom tooth was 94 years old. McCormick says there's a wide variation in ages when eruption occurs. He once had a 65-year-old patient with dentures whose wisdom tooth has started to erupt, poked through the gums. They're crazy little beasts, you never know what you're going to see. Apparently, wisdom teeth have been acting erratically for thousands of years. Aristotle documented this phenomenon in his book, The History of Animals. Cases have been known in women upwards of 80 years old where at the very close of life the wisdom teeth have come up causing great pain in their coming and cases have been known of the like phenomenon in men too. In most cases though wisdom teeth are up when you're in your late teens or early 20s. Number five, the first impacted tooth was recorded about 15,000 years ago. When wisdom teeth don't have enough room to grow normally they get stuck in the jaw and fail to erupt. These are called impacted teeth. The oldest known case of an impacted tooth was found in a skeleton of a 25 to 35 year old woman who died some 15,000 years ago. This case cast doubt on the theory that impacted teeth are a modern ailment caused by recent changes in our dietary habits. Number six, they're called love teeth in Korean. In English, the name wisdom teeth conveys the idea that third molars come in later than other teeth at a time when you're older and hopefully wiser. Other languages don't follow the same convention. In Korean, for example, 
The poetic name for third molars translates to love teeth. It's around this time, late teens and early 20s, that one typically experiences their first love. The Japanese language also, also has a creative word for it, oyashirazu, or unknown to parents, since most people have already moved away from home by the time their wisdom teeth come in. Last fact, they're used in stem cell research. It turns out that wisdom teeth aren't all bad. Although some of the research is still in, in the experimental phase, scientists are studying dental stem cells, which are recovered in 2003, to see if they can potentially be used to repair and regenerate tissue. One study on mice at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine found that stem cells taken from wisdom teeth could someday be used to repair corneas that have been scarred by infectional injury. Any clinical applications for humans will require more research. Though. There are studies with dental pulp cells being used to treat neurological disorders and problems in the eye and other things, says Dr. Pamela Roby of the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research. The problem is these studies have really not been that rigorous. The science needs a lot more work.